This is um, a pork shoulder. So it, the, the shoulder of the pig right here, it's a much cheaper cut than the leg. Still tastes just so good, it's, it's pork. Um, smoky egg, it's pork turned into ham by process of smoking. That's a whole nother thing for you, but a quick backdrop is just that um, smoking is preserv preserving meat and um, adding flavor to it and then we get our lovely ham. So the first thing first we're gonna do is wash or meat. You know I'm Jamaican. It is in me. We cannot be friends if you don't wash your meat. That's some new apron and talk the truth. Follow card scrap and print it on Instagram, okay? And remember to subscribe, carry the MD. <laughs> I'm only using some water to just wash off our ham. You don't know where it has been when it was getting smoked or in the butcher shop or whatever, you know? So just wash it off real quick. We're just gonna take some paper towel and pat that baby dry and then we are ready to begin. So now our ham is all washed. The next important thing is guys, get one of these. You do not, you do not want to be washing sugar out of your crockery dish or your glass, whatever. Buy one of them here. Just believe me, I'm buy one of them here. So, game time now. So now we're just going to place our ham. I want the fat side to be facing upwards. I just need to do like that. Everybody knows I love time. I just, I just do. This is me being extra, but hey. This is some pimento seeds and some cloves. And this is some pineapple juice of the pineapples that we're going to use to decorate. So when I drain the pineapples, I just save the juice. And then we're just going to get a piece of foil and cover this. We want to seal in all the moisture. And then we're gonna go to the oven for two hours, well, hour and a half, because this is less than 10 pounds. It's normally 20 minutes per pound. So, okay. So, 350, and we're just going to check on this at an hour and a half. Make sure it's tight. To make our sauce um today we are making sorrel ginger and scotch bonnet glazed um sauce for the ham remember the ham is smoked and smoking give it um give it a natural flavor whatever wood they use to smoke it right and it's salty so us making a sauce is just like putting icing on top just you know to counteract that salt the sorrel ginger and scotch bonnet like is a win is a win i'm using the grace um grace tropical redeem sarah and ginger grace we don't need to make grace fans i grace and maggie yeah um one of one other board sauce a lot of people only use honey glaze that's boring but one other that and you can use whatever you want you can use whatever flavor juice you want there's endless possibilities as i said what we do over here at Karim md is not law it's not written in stone you can do whatever you want. I'm just here to show you the basics. And this is me making my sour sauce. Last year I made this time and everybody loved it. So, time to make the sauce. <laughs> our stove is on high and we're going to add our sarin. Some sugar. That's a little top. Some garlic. Cloves and pimento. I'm gonna add some onion, some thyme, a piece of red pepper, the star of the show, some scotch bonnet pepper, a little vinegar to make it tangy. We're going to stir, we're going to bring this to a boil, and then we're going to strain it, put it back on the stove, and allow it to thicken. Yo, who could I smell this? This bad, this bad. So just a good to know, strain it. We're 
gonna allow it to uh, reduce and then we're ready Already. So here I'm going in with just a little cornstarch guys because it was taking forever so this is just going to help speed up the process of it thickening. I underestimated the scotch bonnet and it was hot so I'm going in with a little bit of cinnamon to you know balance it out. So this is our glaze guys, our sorrel ginger and scotch bonnet. I'm sorry for the camera angle but look at that glaze. Just, just look at that. I cannot wait to use this. So just set this aside until our ham is out of the oven. Pull away guys, pull away from you so the steam doesn't burn you. Alright guys, so this is our ham. I am going to remove the skin. A lot of people leave it on and then base it, but I don't think it is I don't think it makes any sense to base up here with our beautiful glaze and then we're going to turn it up because you're not going to eat this, right? So we're just going to peel off our skin and we're just going to leave this fat right here. So just peel it away. Because you have to be careful. So this is what our ham looks like now guys. I am not going to cut off the fat. We still need this fat to keep the ham moist for the remainder of the time that is going to be in the oven. So we're going to take our knife to make our diamond cut on our ham, you know, to make it look really nice. So we're going to slice in one direction and then we're just going to go the opposite direction so we can get the diamond cut. So here I am turning the ham and then we're just going to slice opposite of what we already did. So guys, so now we have some clove. Now we're just going to insert, insert some in like the little sections in here. In the, Diamond coat. So, all right, guys, this is our ham. Uh, study with our clothes. The clothes inject so much flavor into them, guys. Into the ham, trust me, you need to. This is essential for our ham, okay? So, ready for glaze. So I transferred our ham back to our foil container and we're just going to start basting it with our glaze. Look how red and pretty that is! Look on that. Talk the truth. Talk the truth with God love. Just going to baste it all about. Make sure you get everywhere. See how syrupy and thick this is guys that's why i said you want to do it in an aluminum a disposable container car. trust me the aftermath is no fun i want to get here ram is all glazed from head to toe i'm just going to put this back in the oven for 20 minutes uncovered so just like this if your glaze gets a little too thick guys i did not throw away the liquid that way the um the pineapple juice liquid we can just tip a little of it in there you know so it's just reintroducing our flavors and just whirl it up back and we're good to go you can put it on the stove top to it get warm and we're good This is our first 20 minutes in. I'm going to drain this back into our pot.
this for a second time for another 15 to 20 minutes and then after that we'll dress up our little our little ham here she's looking so nice girl girl you are looking good good with teas on it okay every time i cook and the meal turns out really well i just have to like tell god thank you for my mom like it's like no joke i'm not being corny or anything but i love my mother this is it after coming out of the oven for the second time after being glazed we're going to dress it up now and then then we're ready for the road look at that look at that baby good as it look good you look good hi hello So guys, we are at we're at um the home run. I say that man, I know. We're at the finish almost. So all we have to do is add is to dress up our baby girl. Cause she's a good as she look good. With some pineapples. So we're just going to take some take a pineapple and do like this with a toothpick. Hold that in. And you get a cherry also. You know, presentation is key. And we're just going to give our baby a last coating. Ten more minutes in the oven, guys, and our ham is ready. Look at that baby! Isn't she cute? Isn't she cute? I don't know if you can see the clear juice running from the meat like right here running that means we're cooked and we're ready to slice we're just going to let it rest for a minute and then we'll slice this bad boy and this is our ham guys it's all done just look at that look how shiny it is I really hope you guys try. Remember to tag me on Instagram. Remember to like, comment, and share.